I am too busy to speak with investors for my capital raise. Now, if you're in your mind and you're saying that, let me just identify some of the challenges that, that are going to come with this for you. So what actually triggered this was actually a conversation with a company that was in the middle of a capital raise. And you know they made those comments to, to us on the call that they're just too busy to spend time with investors or spend time with multiple investors because they've just got so much on the plate. And there's a couple of things that just put off a red flag uh, in my mind. And I thought I'd just really share this on a, on a, on a quick video. If you get to that stage where you think that you are too busy to speak with investors, I said there's a lot of challenges that are gonna come your way. Firstly, I understand it. I know that as a founder, you've got multiple things pulling you in multiple different directions. And you know, actually the easiest way I can describe it, being a founder is like playing multiple chess games at the same time when you've got dozens and dozens, maybe even a hundred plus people trying to get your attention at the same time. And at the same time, you're putting out fires around you as well. So just think about that. You're playing multiple strategic games whilst people are trying to capture your attention and you're trying to put out fires at the same time. Every single founder experiences this. And what happens is, is we get to the stage where we think, Do you know what? This is just all too hard. Plus, we know that when it comes to capital raising, there's a whole bunch of rejection that comes with it. So typically what happens is, is people get to this stage is because they're lacking in confidence in themselves when it comes to raising money, they focus on the things that they feel confident at or that they think is a, is a priority, right? Now, of course, we all know that capital raising is a priority because capital is effectively the oxygen to fuel the fire that you want to use to actually grow your business. You want to said you want to put in that fuel to accelerate that growth, which leads to the outcomes that you're hoping to achieve and the build the vision that you see. Now, when we're dealing with companies, obviously they've got, got this going through their mind, but typically what we tend to do, and this is just human nature, we focus on the things that we believe we've got a skill set in. And often, because capital raising is considered this dark, mysterious art, said we look for every opportunity to give it to someone else to potentially do, right? And effectively, I've seen this so many times. In fact, I've done a video on it talking about don't give away your confidence in your capital raise. I'm so passionate about this that for my, and the reason is it comes from my own experience, my own frustrations, my own ups and downs, my own emotions that go through the capital raising process, right? If you find that in your mind, you are saying to yourself that I am too busy to speak with investors, then I want you to reframe that inside your head. The, one of the greatest things that you can do is you can start communicating to yourself. Rather than saying, I'm too busy to speak with investors, say, maybe there's investors out there that can assist me on the journey. I said, I am very, very grateful to have shareholders that have been entirely supportive of my company that have helped me in ways that I never expected when I set out to raise money. To the point that I remember one day I was sitting in a, in, in a session with tech. It's called the, the, um, the Executive Connection. Right, where it's a group of CEOs, we get together every month and we discuss our, our, our different issues, we discuss different things we're talking about, we get educated, etc. And you know, I remember just sitting there and I'll, I was just thinking to myself, how far my business has come with the assistance of shareholders. Now, absolutely, I had to put in additional time. In fact, I'm recording this video on a Sunday. Why? Because it's hard for me to get my head in the right space to do it during normal weekdays, right? So I understand those pressures. But if you're getting into your mind where you saying to you, where you are saying to yourself that you are too busy to raise money, now is the time to start reframing. I think, and think about how investors can help create opportunities for you. Who can they potentially refer to you? How can they be strategic to your business? How they can add value in add value in ways that you aren't expecting. Right, and this is what I've seen with other shareholders, right, and how they've actually added value to their. Because got to understand, some while some shareholders want to be passive, other shareholders want to add value. That's why they love this space. That's why they're involved in this space, right? And yes, you have to invest the time up front. But think about it like this: it's no different to, to if you want to grow a garden, you've got to invest up front. You've got to invest with the planting of the soil. You've got to invest with actually sort of watering it to start with, and then watch those seeds grow. 
Make the investment upfront, make it in yourself, make it in the process, make it in the awareness of your business, make it in the discussions with potential investors. I said, yes, there is a cost to it. There's an opportunity cost to it, right? But understand that there is absolutely long-term benefits again with it by actually learning this process for yourself and also experiencing the process for yourself because one of the greatest things that we can have is confidence when we're going into a capital raise. And I'm not talking about overconfidence where we're being ridiculous. I mean knowing that you know how to have conversations with potential investors that are relevant for your business that can add value to help you accelerate your growth outside of just the capital. So I know that's a bit of a rant uh, for, for the day, but I hope whoever's listening to this, even if it just makes a difference in one person that's sitting in their mind thinking that I'm just too busy to do that and they're thinking about that idea of giving away that confidence or handing over their capital raising to someone else who is not attached to their business or invested into their business, I hope that makes the biggest difference with you because the difference I wanna make with you, I don't care what happens one month from now, the difference I want this to make is that I want this to plant the seed that actually makes a difference 12 months, 24 months, 36 months from now, even five years from now, where you're thinking about to yourself, I'm so glad I actually decided to invest in this process because it made the difference.